realize what a fool you are. But you got it coming. You have any idea how dumb you reveal yourself? That thing's gonna feel so fine. Talk about that. Maybe not a. <laughs> not the starting start. Not the starting start. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's get into this shit. Okay. All right. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, 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 bow. Welcome to Brutal View. Episode Brutal View. Seven seven. View We're seven, back. seven. It's, it's cold. It's cold as mother. Oh. That <laughs> damn it! We tried. We tried not to cuss for the first minute in order to go. That was. What, I looked at you like ten Dude, seconds. What the? <laughs> Maybe I'll cur- maybe I'll blank that specific one out. Okay, and we'll just okay. see how we- far we go from here. Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's cold AF. It's cold AF. Cold as mother. Yeah, outside. Yeah, because we we'll live in New England. Right. But we're back, dude. This we're week suffering. had some like uh, the single digit mornings. Yeah, dude. I know. That was a uh, that Rough. was intense. Yeah. Rough. Do you have good heat at your apartment? No. 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 That sucks. Really bad heat. I actually have great heat here, but the draft in the windows is so bad that since my bed is up against my windows, I can feel the wind every morning. I'll move your bed, dude. I thought about it, but I kind of like the setup in there. Plastic the windows. You ever do plastic on your windows? Jake said the same thing. No, yeah. I don't know. I haven't. I did but... that growing up, dude. They help. They yeah. Help. Yeah, dude. My windows are, are trash in yeah. my apartment, but I only have like five windows. And they're all in the living room and kitchen. So yeah. I have a tiny one in my bedroom. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. But my heat is really, really bad. I'll uh, lay in bed. And it's really – because I play this game every night, dude. <laughs> I get in bed with a sweatshirt, socks, shirt. Right. Like maybe even a beanie. Yep. And like as like over the course of 30 minutes, I'll strip. Yeah. Socks go first. I, th- I do the pants. same thing. Yeah. No, no. Shirt goes first. Socks, pants. Yep. Beanie. And then eventually I'm just laying there in my underwear. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do actually night, get pretty night. close to my underwear. I feel like in the colder – like. Weather, I usually sleep with like a t-shirt and underwear or uh, maybe sweats on type of thing. But now I do the same shit. T-shirt. T-shirt bothers me when I sleep. Yeah. I'd rather not wear a t-shirt. Do you just get like hot? Oh, I – dude, I get I hot. I sweat. I sweat. Yeah. Hard. So I made this realization recently because I've been sleeping and, and wake up in the middle of the night to piss because I'm, I'm getting older and I'm a man. And that's just the way it goes. Yep. You know what I mean? Um, but dude, I wake up hot as fuck. Yeah. Sweating. I actually keep a towel near my bed. Oh, like God. a tiny hand towel. Really? I wake up, dude, and I go, Ugh, and I dry my, my chest, bro, drenched. Flip my pillow, back to bed, bro. Fuck. Yeah. That actually doesn't sound that healthy now that you say it that way. I'm fat. It's still yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for noticing. <laughs> Thanks for pointing it out. And okay, I drink is that what happens if, if you yeah. – oh, yeah. So yeah. I sh- if I ask any fat person, they'll pretty much be – Well, I mean if, if – Any you're, comfortable fat person. Well, I'm a sweaty guy. Yeah. Even when I'm skinny, I'm sweaty. Okay, yeah. So I'm just a naturally sweaty guy. My, arm, my pits are always – Yeah, same. On the sweats. My, my, I'm sweating right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, me too. Yeah. I shave mine during the summer. Yeah? I shave my pits because it keeps the sweat low. Better when you fight too. I don't know if that's true. That's definitely yeah. Nice. You know what? Why haven't you invited me to your apartment yet? I'm a little offended. Um, there's not much to see. Yeah, I, I got a bedroom. I got a kitchen. I got a TV and a computer. We should pot we- there. One the, camera. The lighting is so bad. Yeah. Why not? All right. <laughs> it's not. It's not good. No. <laughs> no. It's that bad. I mean, I haven't invited anybody to my apartment. Really? Yeah. The only yeah. person I had there was Nick, and that's because he was staying here and obligatory. He was just staying at my place. Okay. Yeah. But I, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. My last apartment was way nicer. You went. You were at my last apartment, right? No, yeah. no, you were never there. I don't think so, dude. No. And I was five minutes down the road. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, you were telling me you yeah, were living yeah. over here. Yeah. And uh, no, dude. Yeah. My last apartment was way nicer, and this one, I'm kind of like not embarrassed, but there's nothing to show off. Okay. Yeah. I got all the same shit. I didn't just, know if I just smelled and you just didn't want to tell me something. No, like that, dude. It's you know? it's my apartment. It's yeah. just a shitty little apartment. <laughs> I'm trying to look for another one, but it's just by yourself. We've been over this. A million yeah. Times. Right. I know. <laughs> it's, it's so ridiculous. Right so now. bad here. It's so bad. It's so bad. The inflation, I don't even want to talk about it, but it's stupid right now. Yeah. 
I it's, mean, it's not it's not fun. This apartment only went up by like fifty bucks this year, which mm-hmm. I was telling you, Jake's apartment went up by like three hundred fifty dollars in one year. Oh, is he still staying there? Yeah, well, he had to because they the contract, you had, yeah. the contract exactly. Oh. Yeah, so oh. right. this isn't a contract here. This is month by month, so I can do whatever the fuck I want. Minus so. two. Yeah, minus two. Dope shit. Even if uh, I had a kitty cat, and per my lease, I'm not supposed to, and I already returned her to owners, mm. but. Um, that was funny. <laughs> if, yeah, dude, I miss that Papa Sofita. She was a good, girl, good cat. But uh, if I got caught, my landlord would have given me a month to move out. Okay. And that would have been a nightmare. So thank God I yeah. didn't get caught. Um, yeah, it's just impossible, man. 2021. Yeah. No, it is. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, um, we were off last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I guess we weren't really off, but we did release that that vaulted episode. Mm-hmm. Um, awesome. I even put in the description, so let sorry. us know if you think this should have been vaulted or oh, not. I saw that, and I'm like, <laughs> I almost commented, like, yeah, you should have banked this shit. Yeah. Kept I it mean, in the vault. it was 40 minutes of, of God, just rambling. really high rambling, to yeah, be honest, you know? Just rambling. A lot of I Marvel know. shit, but I wanted to talk about it, man. We got to talk about it. All right. Spider-Man No Way Home. Oh, man. You watched it. Oh, man. You watched it? So good. Woo! So fucking good. Woo! So they brought all the Spider-Men back, and all somehow they made all of them canon. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I don't know how they did it so well. They did such an incredible job. It's almost as if they planned for it, and obviously yeah. they didn't, but they integrated it so well that it's like they planned for yeah. it. Yeah. What was your favorite part of the movie? Did you have a, without, spoiler alert, if you haven't well, seen the movie. Well, I was going to say, this is spoiling like a motherfucker, but yeah. yeah skip we're, to. <laughs> yeah, skip five, ten five, minutes Five, ten in. minutes ahead. Yeah. yeah. Um, Favorite part was after they all showed up when they started working together and then fighting to get that part yeah. to the end is phenomenal. Yeah. And the first half of the movie was phenomenal. When so. they're like swinging around the three right, of them. Right, dude. That's so they're dope. going off each other and shit. It's like, Jesus. Like, I had I had a couple amazing moments. Uh, a memorable one was then they were inquiring about Tommy McGuire's web sling. Like, right. he actually <laughs> shot webs. Yeah. And they're like, whoa, how do you do that? Like, and how does... <laughs> and he's like, he's like, and he did it and he just looks at them and they go, what? Right. You make that in your body? Right. Like, yeah. And they're like, it took me months to synthesize this. Right. Thing. <laughs> and and uh, uh, Tom Andrew Holland's Garfield. like, oh. no, Tom Holland's like, does it come from anywhere else? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's like, no. He's like, come on, man. Like, <laughs> yeah. And then uh, they also find out that only Tom Holland's universe has an Avengers. Right. The other one. And they're like, you guys don't have Avengers? Right. He's like, are you in a band? Yeah. He's like, that's great. That's great. What is that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they're like, what? You don't have the Avengers? And, and like, Tommy no. Maguire's like, this isn't helping. Yeah. This is not helpful. <laughs> I love that they made him like yell again. And yeah, yell, like, he like, was extra. like that. Yeah. <laughs> he was like the mature Spider-Man. Right. And they were like super childish. And right. I love that about They it. played it so fucking oh, well, dude. dude. So before when I was saying so like, so good. I kept telling you like, no, they like meet all your expectations and then deliver yeah. some. Like that's what I meant. Like yeah. they do all the little shit and yeah. it worked. Like I've seen the Andrew Garfield Spider Man wasn't into it. I love them in this movie. Really? Yeah. I actually thought those were like they were terrible movies, but he was such a good actor in He's, them. He's <laughs> so they were terrible movies because they took a different approach. When at the time they didn't need to be exactly. Uh, no yeah. one was asking for another Spider Man. What didn't integrate in the Marvel films at the time? Right. It was just kind of like weird timing. Not a bad Spider Man. Definitely my least favorite out of right. all of them. Yeah. But I still didn't hate it. But they played on that it in was, the movie. Yeah. The, He's like, I'm just a stupid Spider-Man. Like, yeah. I didn't do anything. And then, yeah. you know, Tobey Maguire's like, no, you're amazing. You're an amazing and he's Spider-Man. like, I fought a, a, a rhino. Right. He's like a, a dumb rhino. A dumb a- rhino. <laughs> and they looked at him. He's like, what else? He's like, and a sewer rat. Right. And they're like, all right, dude. I fought an alien. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you've been to space. You're right. <laughs> yeah, it was such a great moment. Dude. Yeah. They, they did that. Goddamn perfectly. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm glad it all came together. But Such they are saying they want to make a Andrew Garfield uh, Amazing Spider-Man 4 because Tom Holland, his mm-hmm. contract's up with, with Marvel and Kevin Feige and everyone. They're going to renew it, though. Maybe. I don't know. He is the big, the biggest Avenger right now. I think so, yeah. Like, it's number uh, one Spider-Man, number two Doctor I think Strange. Doctor Strange and Wanda might be up there with him, dude. Uh, Wanda's so good right now. I can't believe how popular she is. Yeah. Like, I didn't realize it, but whoo, she is. The people that I went to go watch the movie, oh, speaking, I have to come back the to The theater, this right? <laughs> but no, 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 I have another thing. Okay. But uh, uh, the people that I went to go watch the movie with, they were like, oh, we love WandaVision. We've, WandaVision. We've seen it four times. We're right. going to watch it again yeah. this week. That's what I see online, dude. Yeah. People are obsessed with her. Like, mm-hmm. it's crazy. 
It's because you can watch it, finish it, and then rewatch it and pick up on all the stuff that you were confused on. And like she was portrayed so fucking strong in the in the Avengers movies. So mm-hmm. like you have a lot to play from from those. Never mind the WandaVision. Just a she great never show. tapped into her full power either. She still has it, yeah, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> even when she created that all uh, spoiler alert, even yeah. when she created that alternate fucking universe, like dimension area. Right. Where she controlled like all the laws. Even then, yeah, still has a lot more. No, it yeah, kind of it was insane, dude. Mm-hmm. In the comics, she kills Doctor Strange in, a, in one of the uh, variation universes. Oh, really? Yeah, and she like totally see that. like easily like rips him apart. Like mm-hmm. it's fucked up. I was like, wow. But in that version of the comics, she's uh, tormented by the devil person, metamorphosis something. So is she? She's like a, a mage, the same way Doctor Strange is a mage, but she's like dark. Yeah, but she's basically. a she's a nexus being. So she's. So powerful that she's, she's the, a nexus being. She's the same character no matter what universe you go to. Where Doctor Strange, there's multiple variants, Loki, multiple. She's the one no matter what universe you go to. She's that strong. So kind of like Thanos How, is a nexus being. Who else is a nexus being? Being Jonah Jameson, which is really funny. Who's that one? Oh, oh, oh <laughs> the, the Daily Bugle dude. The Daily Bugle because he's the same one in Tobey Maguire. So nexus is being, the, all that means is that you're the same. I thought that meant that. You created your own alternate timeline because you're a Nexus being. Well, you can create as many timelines as you want, but your you will not change in all the timelines. It's crazy how they work it. Like I was, pretty much all Nexus beings are connected yeah. to dark magic. That's how they they link it. Because I was I guess this Reddit uh, comment I read literally this week was wrong because it was talking about how after they cured the Green Goblin in No Way Home. He went back to his universe, but he was a Nexus being at that point, and he created his own alternate timeline. Okay. So he's not just going to go back to die like he did in the original movie. Right. He stabbed. Right. He actually goes back and he's secured. But I guess maybe that's not the right term. Yeah. Well, I mean, that is correct, too. So, like, mean? you can create alternate timelines, but again, in that other universe, he's still going to be the same Norman. He's just going to be dead in that one. <laughs> mm. it, it's weird because it, it doesn't make sense when yeah. you look at it like. Like, all right, well, they couldn't make another movie. How's he alive in this one and not that one? Mm-hmm. I don't know. But mm-hmm. again, I, I'm sure they'll play that off somehow. They'll try to explain it. But mm-hmm. I just know, at least from the comics, Wanda, she's the tough, powerful bitch that she can go to any universe and be the same bitch. And hmm. Well, we'll see where it goes, man. Yeah. It's getting so convoluted. And um, oh, I, I, you're going to hate me for this. Mm-hmm. I was at the theater. I watched the first uh, post credit scene. When it talked about setting up for the next Venom. Yeah. Right? That was awesome. I way. know, right? <laughs> but the people I were with, they wanted to leave before the next one. Okay, so you like, watch we the don't trailer. Wanna... So I didn't watch the trailer. Yeah. So I still haven't seen the, the evil Doctor Strange. Do you want to watch it right now? Yeah. Okay. Let's throw it on. Yeah, let's watch it. That's fucking awesome. I'm glad you agree. Things just got out of hand. Oh, he's crazy, crazy. Oh, yeah, dude. And they, that's it? That's the one shot we get of him? Yeah. But there's like parts in the trailer, like I'll even, uh, I'll scrub a little bit because I've watched this trailer a pretty pathetic amount of times. I love it, dude. I love it. <laughs> there's a part in the trailer. Where um, he's fighting the Kraken, right? He's fighting a tentacle creature, but he uses tentacle magic. You can see it come out of him, like the healthy version of Doctor Strange. So he taps into the dark whatever he does in huh. the what if series interesting like the healthy version does so i'm sh- I'm, I'm assuming he's gonna fight it but okay i don't know if this will scrub since it's on the tv but yeah uh, i love how she's like reconciled with herself right she's, she's like, like in like a peaceful place right see that all the tentacles came oh. out of him so he used the shit from that's like the strongest shit in the fucking galaxy like according to the comics you know the and, tentacle magic. Yeah, the huh. evil strange is going to use it. I'm sure tenfold too. He's going to use I'm it a sure, lot more. Yeah. But that's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. Part. So, uh, yeah. So, all right. So I went to go watch Spider Man. Okay. I went with a random group of friends. Um, somebody from my last job has been hitting me up, inviting me over, hanging out with his friends. They're cool. I'm cool. So we've been hanging out. And I go to a movie with this guy. His name is Eric. And Eric, um, she seems like a normal guy, mid thirties, whatever. I start talking to him. I, I didn't I didn't pick up on anything off on him. And he drives in my car. It's me and him. We're driving to the theater. Everybody else is driving in a separate car because that weed didn't fit. And I wanted to smoke weed and they don't smoke weed. And um, allegedly, of course. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had to draw that. Allegedly. Yep, yep, yep. Allegedly. Yep, <laughs> Everything yep, we yep. say is alleged. alleged. <laughs> and um, Eric was telling me how 
his fiance passed. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So he's mid 30s. He was engaged to this woman. She died in October. Oh, fuck. So oh my God. he was right. telling me about how, like, she had COVID and she got over it just fine. And then within two days, he just, she was sleeping on the couch. He got back from work, found her on the couch, dead. Like cold. What the fuck? Yeah. Like her, her heart just gave out. Jesus Christ. She must have been overweight. I didn't ask. But he was an over overweight gentleman. Okay. I can imagine she was, at that point, probably bigger you than You can him. assume in there. Yeah. Yep. Probably assume. I don't yep. want to be an asshole. Probably assume. Right. Just taking a hypothesis. <laughs> right. But he was telling me this. And ever since then, dude, how fragile we are has just been on my mind constantly. Oh, really? <laughs> because, dude, this woman lived an entire life. Right. Until 35, and she got to the point where she was engaged with a man. And was going to get married. Yeah. Had an apartment. They'd lived together. They had finally, like, he was telling me, like, they had finally gotten their life together. And they just started living together, like, last year. Jesus Christ. And she just died. This is really sad. It's really sad. And he, I was like, are you okay? He's like, no, I'm not okay. I haven't gotten rid of any of her stuff. Right. I'm destroyed. Yeah. I work obligatory. Thank God I still have a job so I can pay my bills. Right. But I am, I'm, a, I'm like, you're a broken man. He yeah. Goes, yes, I am. I'm like, that's okay, though. He was like, what do you mean? And he's like, I hope I'm not killing your vibe. And I- I'm sorry if I'm being gloomy. I was like, no, I'm interested. And in- maybe like this is me being selfish, but I'm like, I'm interested in this. Because this is something I cannot comprehend on my own. Right, yeah. So like you're kind of putting You don't into- know what he's going you through. Don't- I don't know what you're right? going through. So I just started asking him questions. Why, how, what has he been doing? What, what are his thoughts? Like mm. all these things, not prying, but just inquiring. He's more right. than happy to share with me because I guess nobody really wants to talk to him about it. And yeah, I mean, you if know? I was like, if that was my friend and mm-hmm. that happened, I'd be afraid to ask them how they're doing it sometimes, right. you know? Like right. I would obviously ask, but I get that feeling because mm-hmm. you're like, shit, like I know you're not doing good. Like, right. do you want to talk about right. it? Like, exactly. <laughs> and he, and, it was tragic, dude. He's yeah. not doing well. His friends are not giving him the support he needs. Oh, that's but so that's, sad. <laughs> I know. But that's not even the part I want to talk I just want to talk about the frailty of man and the oh, fact – That was oof. a bad – Can you drop a oof for me? Yeah, yeah. Oof. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Uh, thanks, Brad. I needed that. Um, <laughs> but it's tragic and I, I got to be honest. I fed off of his energy. Yeah. I really did. Yeah. Because I took that energy and it kind of like inspired me a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, People are always going through shit, dude. That's fucking. But that's intense. That is a lot to go through. How do you lose a feel? Imagine like you get a girlfriend and you love her so much you propose. Yeah. You move in together. You're starting your life. You've finally gotten shit on track. She gets COVID. Okay. You're a little scared, but she right. gets over it. And it's COVID She's too. Good. So you're not thinking like. Yeah. Fuck. She's 35. Yeah. God, I feel, I, I hate to say it, but she definitely had to have some other condition. Yes. Absolutely. For her heart to give out to that stop, way. stop, like. Yeah. yeah, a younger woman like that, she had definitely. Yeah. Do. But that's, I mean. I know, it's still, it's, it's fucked still up tragic. regardless, you know. Um, Jesus Christ, that's so sad. Yeah, but I, I fed <laughs> off of it, man. I think it was a super real moment. Yeah. And it just puts in perspective that, you you know, I believe that one day we're going to die, dude. And we're going to go back to how it was before we were born. Yeah. Dude, uh, I have it's a really tragic. weird story to go off of this, right? Ooh, so I was in Manchester the other day, right? Mm-hmm. And um, I'm in a parking lot and this like really well put together clean guy comes up to my truck uh, when I'm getting gas and he's like, hey man, um, my I just came from Elliot. My daughter has like stage four leukemia or some shit. She's fucking, she's, you know, she has less than a month to live. We're all there. Um, I, I just wanted to know if you had a couple bucks for gas and shit like that, mm-hmm, like just mm-hmm. trying to make do and get back to the hospital. Right. And I was like, well, no, I don't got I don't got any cash on me. Uh, I mean, I got my card. Like if you pull your car up, I can I can put some in your I tank, but I, I can't do anything else. Like, yeah. And he's like, oh, and he's like, well, how much do you have on your card? Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, how much do you have on your card? I was like, enough. Yeah. Was like, Seriously, none of your business, homie. And he goes, well, can I have it? And I laughed at him. I was like, no, you can't have it. And yeah. he's like, yeah, I'm just going to – I'll be right back. And then I'm, I'm going to – I'll just fill my tank guys. up. Yeah. So I laughed and I was like, no, you can't yeah. have it. And he's like, that's how you're going to treat me? And I was like, dude, I don't know you. Yeah. Like I don't so, care. So. And I was like, I'm, I'm not going to help you. Sorry. And yeah. I just turned around and yeah. like started pumping gas. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, yeah. Like So he starts walking away and he starts like kind of melting off like, oh, this is how people help people that are in need. Like this is how people help their own – 
their own people in their town. And again, I just started like laughing. Like mm-hmm. I, I don't you know, know what else to do. I was just like, like, yeah. all right, dude. Like, sucks to be guy, you. Right? Yeah. Like, fuck. Like, what the hell? I don't. know. I thought I was being nice too. And he just but walked away. He caught me so off guard. Like, yeah. I mean, obviously he's scamming people. I think so. So yeah. like, you said he's dressed well and put together. That's obviously his intent. Yes. Like, I he agree. Rented a suit, bought a suit. Yeah, it wasn't a like a suit, but it was like dress clothes. You know, yeah. it was like like he I, had a button up on. Even like, better, go to Marshall. Spent forty dollars, buy dress clothes, right. investment, boom. And it's the type of thing where it's like, okay, if you look this part, you should have money for gas, dude. Yeah, like you're kind of selling the wrong thing yeah. here. If you look shittier, it actually would make more sense, yeah. you know. But yeah. I, don't, I never had someone like approach me in that manner. I was like, really? Like, let me have your card. Yeah, yeah. like what That's the fuck? Funny. Like, yeah. That's pretty funny. And it was on a public. It was like a fucking broad daylight in mm-hmm. Manchester. I was mm-hmm. like, dude, like Middle I, of the day. I will. Do something like I don't care if it's yeah. broad daylight. Like, dude, go away from me. Yeah, that yeah. Was, I know. Caught me off guard. Yeah, I didn't know at first. I was like, oh, I kind of feel bad for him, and then mm-hmm. I was like, fuck you and your yeah. daughter. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's I mean, a little far. Uh, <laughs> that's a, well, I don't. Think I, I agreed with you until the daughter. I don't but think she's real. But I, I'll say that if uh, she's hot though. Yeah. Exactly. Too. Yeah. She only got a month left. Come on. Well, let Make a Wish Foundation. That took a turn. What do you think Make a Wish Foundation does if they come across a fourteen-year-old kid that's going to die? And he's like, I want to fuck. He's like, I'm trying to get my dick wet. Like, can I get my dick sucked, please? And they're just like, dude. Why? I mean, what do you they do as a company can't sure do anything, but I bet someone privately is like, you know, I work. I bet, yeah, I bet the person's <laughs> like, I got you, bro. I got you, man. Like, I'll figure it out. Like, I'll, I'll get like, you know, Lee Jin from the massage parlor across the street that she she's older, but she knows what she's doing. What would be your dying wish if you were like, like if if you have stage four leukemia, mm-hmm. right I don't now? even think that I don't even know if that's a thing. But right now, and then tomorrow you're gonna die, right? And they're like, all right, you got you want to get like a woman or, or a girl? Well, or I don't think like, make, make a wish. I think make a wish is only for children. Okay, so if I you're guess, an adult and you have stage four, they go f- go fuck yourself. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll figure it what out. If you're on like your ten, own? and what if I was ten years old, right? And I'm like, okay. I want Pamela Anderson to touch my balls. We can make that happen. Yeah, I think so. I think if I don't know if I could tell a ten year old I couldn't. I I'd be like, is that really what you want? <laughs> right. Like you got to tell me. You got to be really sure. Like right. We can have John Cena in here next week. John Cena. All right. You want Pamela yeah. Anderson? We'll get Donald Trump in here next week. Okay. But you want Pamela Anderson to touch your balls? Say it one more. Trump time. definitely wouldn't do that. No, he wouldn't. He I don't think any shit. president would, to be honest. Um. Maybe for publicity mm. when they're campaigning. Even then, Bernie actually Sanders, that old fuck. He's that really old coop. yeah, yeah. He he seems like a sweetheart, but he does seem like a sweetheart. You know, he seems like the guy that would do that. But um, he does seem like a yeah. sweetheart. But yeah, I don't know if a little ten year old, little bald headed, skinny ass ten year old, mm-hmm. cancer ass, mm-hmm. came up to me and he's like, I want cancer ass, <laughs> cancer ass, old bald headed cancer ass, <laughs> cancer ass. I like how you put no, that's pretty <laughs> fucking cancer ass, cancer ass, fucking. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Bad thing for an air horn. <laughs> bad yeah, thing yeah, for, bad, bad something for It's just air. getting darker and darker. It's okay. It's okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. So, you know, whether yeah. you die of COVID or cancer, I mean, yeah, make a wish. Uh, touch your balls. Yeah, I uh, touch know. my balls through the fence. Have you been seeing the fucking through the fence thing on the YMH shit? I love mm-hmm. it. Touch my nose through the fence. Touch my camera through the fence. You, oh, yeah, you I know the reference. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant like there's a new thing. Going oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, okay. I just, yeah, no, I definitely know the reference. I definitely want to start implementing that into Touch things. my podcast through the fence. People That's... are just going to be like, what the fuck are you talking oh, about? Dude, let's call this episode Touch My Podcast Through the Fence. Okay. That's We're inspired a long by ass, YMH. It's a long title. <laughs> yeah, but maybe maybe somebody will click on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, Touch My Podcast Through the Fence, Touch episode 77 the, of yeah. the Good Review Podcast with Bruton Splitch. It's such a long title. What does that mean? What does that mean for us? Touch My Podcast through the fence yeah i honestly we're so unpopular the only way you can reach us is through the fence through the fence yeah and if you don't comprehend that sentence i'm offended so yeah you better that doesn't mean anything to you then yeah even if you interpret it in your own way i i still that 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 works for me um i wanted to jump into uh some tech sci-fi shit but we have about 50 seconds till your laundry is good okay we'll be back after this we'll take a break Are we in? We're in. Are we tapped into the Matrix? Are we wired in? Are you going to watch the new Matrix? I did watch the new Matrix. Oh, you did? Yeah. Didn't I? Did we talk about this? Maybe I don't off think mic? We, I don't. Oh, maybe. Uh, good, well, bad? Well, very, very quickly, I believe we talked about it because I remember saying, oh, maybe I said this to Jake, but it was terrible. Yeah. You know, really uh, bad movie. 
Really bad. Really bad movie. Even though Keanu Reeves is in it? Does yeah. he hang dong? He doesn't hang dong he as much have... as as much as you'd want him to. I'll yeah. say that. You know? I know. Like you he get hangs dong in the first three. Yeah. You get glimpses, but you get glimpses. it's dude, it's <sighs> no cum shots, huh? There's one. Yeah. There's one? Yeah, there is one. They had they had the drop. Yeah, they had the drop they, one. Drop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you want me to spoil it for you because of how bad it is? Are you gonna watch it? I'll probably watch it, but uh sure, spoil it. What up? Actually, <laughs> I'm not married to it. Let's so do this. It. Let's let's do this. Yeah. Guess what this movie is about. Okay. <laughs> Guess right. what the plot and, and everything. All right. Cool. 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 So in the last movie, correct me if I'm wrong, because mm-hmm. I watched all these like years ago. Right. Right. Um, I've seen them recently, so I can like let you know. They finally, they don't like beat the enemy, but they like. I don't remember. I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember. Really? I'm not even. Yeah. I'll just give I you a quick know. little. So the end of end of Matrix I, I, Three. I'm not even. The end of Matrix 3, you find out that Neo isn't the one. It's been Mr. Anderson the whole time. And then Mr. Anderson's the more powerful thing, but Neo does kill him and then dies in the process. Right. Trinity's also dead. <clears throat> okay. That's how it ends. Okay. Yeah. But they did kind of like win. Like they beat the one machine type of thing. Okay. But, but uh, they're still like in the Matrix. But like the, the Matrix, Matrix is, is still... it's very apparent and back and yeah. Because you can't destroy the matrix without destroying everybody's quality of life yeah because if you take them out of the matrix they're all in the shitty wasteland yeah forever. when i tell you it you're gonna laugh all but... right all right all right so let me guess. <laughs> um okay so number four <laughs> spoiler does he, alert does too. he respawn that literally does he respawn is that what happens like he goes oh dude you gained a life across you didn't notice that you gained a life and he's like oh shit i had an is that what happened he respawned? i'll say no okay it, it's not that it's exactly. Not oh, I don't like it already. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't like it already. I don't like it already. Um, <laughs> all right, all right. You want to guess? Uh, he um, was too strong for death. He died, and they're like, I can't handle it. You're too strong. Yeah, that's more along the lines. Really? Yeah, that's more along he's the lines. Like, I, he's like, you can't you can't die because you're too strong to be dead. So keep building off this. All okay, right, so what else okay. is the movie about? You're on dong, the right he's path. He's hanging dong. He's hanging dong. Hanging he's dong. so impressed. Yep. So impressed. They're like, this dude's dick. We got to keep it. You know? And 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 you'd think gods would have the biggest, but they don't. No. They really don't. They're yeah. very average size. Right, right. So any- you You've know, seen those Greek statues. You've seen those Greeks. Yeah, we've all seen those. Groups. Yeah. So Keanu Reeves hangs down. They're like, you're not even black. He goes, I'm not. And they're like, well, we're impressed. So yep. um, On the they, right can't, path they can't contain him. He doesn't – they don't respond to him, but he, he recreates himself. He rebuilds himself consciously, okay? And then he – and then he either recreates everybody else or they recreate themselves. Yeah, you're pretty close, dude. <laughs> you're kind of I'm close, trying to go man. ridiculous when you're doing it, and it's not. This is really sad. <laughs> you're pretty close. Okay, so I'm right, not gonna right, lie. I'm done guessing. I, I can't. Do you want me to tell yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Me. So, how, how spoiler, alert, spoiler alert. Um, spoiler alert. Don't watch. And I still face. think it's worth watching one time. Okay. I'll say that. Right. Yeah. So, the machines kept Neo alive. Mm-hmm. They kept. They didn't kill him. They didn't kill him. So at the end of it, you know how he like died and he's like sitting on like a machine or something at the end of Matrix 3. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So like they got his body mm-hmm. and they kept him alive because the machines in the Matrix need uh, – you know how they like – they get live humans for energy. That's why right. everyone's in those pods. Right. So like Neo and Trinity give off more energy than anyone else. So okay. they kept both of them alive. Trinity is the black guy. Trinity's the black guy. Okay. What, yeah. uh, what actor is that again? I'm just kidding. It's Trinity oh. was the woman. That's, oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, Lawrence Fishburne. What is his name in the movie? Morpheus. Jesus. Morpheus. I couldn't fucking think of it. I was like, <laughs> I, I was like, Trinity sounds epic enough, yeah. but I don't feel like it's right. Morpheus, no, they tried okay. to bring Morpheus back too. It's so bad. But okay. okay. So Trinity uh, and Neo are were too strong to kill, I okay. guess. So they they brought them back, but they like kind of erased their memory. Started them from scratch. So, so they can like harvest energy. Yep. Yep. So like <laughs> the movie plot really is that Neo and Trinity start remembering Mm-hmm. each other they see each other in like dreams and shit like that because mm-hmm. they're like remembering what happened to them 20 odd years ago oh so they're older now yes okay. they're both 20 years older i guess okay. I, okay. I guess okay. they, they didn't really explain I mean, that. They, live, they live like normal lives they have like jobs right so they have jobs and like family so like okay. neo in this <laughs> fourth movie because he had all those dreams and shit he recreated the matrix as a video game so Neo is the creator of a video game called 
The Matrix. That's based off the first three movies. So he uh, okay, okay. It's really bad, right? All right, sure. So in this so he's moment, he's a video game creator now. He's a video game creator a now, but he's just using memories of his past, which he thought which was, he doesn't know was he, just creative. But no, he just was remembering what happened to him, right? Type of thing, right? So in this process, like you said, <laughs> mm-hmm. he rebuilt characters subconsciously. So mm-hmm. he rebuilt Morpheus as like a computer simulation. So okay. Morpheus isn't a human anymore. He's okay. now a computer hard drive, oh, yeah, I guess. Okay. So uh, he so he's made like AI. He, yeah. Okay. He subconsciously made Morpheus in the Matrix find him in real life and convince him that the game is real and he's just twenty years older now. So who? So Neo first found out that he was actually like, the Matrix was real. Well, he just – he had thoughts. He's like, well, that felt really real. So he yeah. had suspicions. Okay. So he made like an AI like okay. under the radar and like didn't tell the company that he works with and shit. It's pretty bad so far. Really, really bad, yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. Not fun. Um, How far are we into the movie? Are we halfway? This is pretty much sums up the first half, you know, because oh, now yikes. like – because <laughs> now Trinity and and Neo they're they're like kind of remembering now. Any action yet or no? Uh, yeah, there's action like because he runs and like it's not him. Them. It's these new characters that they introduce that are fighting new machines that are trying to hide Neo from the rest of from the. So there's like a new resistance. Yes, be, okay. that are trying to find Neo because they know Neo's alive somehow. Okay. I don't. I don't know how. Okay. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> it sounds so bad. Yeah, just saying it. Bad. Yeah. Right, did they end it all by the end? They 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 didn't. So uh, so they're setting up for more. They're setting up for more again. Oh, yikes. Uh, That's not good. The main villain dude mm-hmm. was Neil Patrick Harris as a AI. So he's like the new Mister Anderson. Okay. What happened to Mister Anderson? Is he dead? Well, uh, just want to do. They anymore? just didn't bring him back. I guess like, they like did this with, movie is with ass. Morpheus. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing Lawrence Fishburne and him turned the movie down. To be honest, Could have been. I, I really do. That's pretty interesting. Um, um, there's like, oh yeah, dude, the I stupid would shit. Hanging dong. There's a uh, uh, new creations that they made. They're they're t- uh, teamed up with robots now. There's like friendly robots now. Are they cute? They did try to make them cute, yeah. They, they gave do. them like faces and shit. They, always they gave do. them like they're all animated, like it's yeah. really bad. They always do. Yeah. Cute things so. Yeah. Oh, but, and the movie ends with uh, Trinity can fly now. Like Neo can. Like Neo can. Yeah. So now yeah. they both fly. Women empowerment. And uh Matrix Five is gonna be even worse. So Remember the first three? How epic those were? Yeah. The first one. The first one was really insane. The second epic. one I didn't mind. The second one was okay. I didn't like them like at the time, the second and third, I was like, oh, these are too quick. They rushed these movies out. Yeah. But then going back, I was like, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. No. Three, though, wasn't wasn't great. I didn't like three as much. Yeah, I, I would go back. It's not that bad going back to it. I, for me, when they were all under, the entire movie was underground. It was all black and green. And I brown. remember the same thing when I was yeah. a kid. I was like, that movie, those movies were so boring and dark and yeah. just like yeah. slow. I When I rewatched them, they're not like, they're not? I don't know why I remembered that, dude. That's how I remembered it, dude. I'm like, Ugh. No, yeah, yeah. They're. I mean, there's more action than I remember. I'll say that. It's okay. more fun when you're older. I mean, it was pretty cool. Yeah. And then they dropped movies like it, like Wanted. You remember that one? Yeah, the Wanted. The gun curving one. That was a good that movie. That movie was cool. That shit was like, yeah. Oh, and the bullets used to fucking fly out. Right, right. That's what I do with my with my nuts. With that my dude, <laughs> when you... <laughs> yeah. It's actually kind of fucked, so... So if you have I, two girls in the room, you have them like lined up and you hit the chick. one in the back. Yeah, just... yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I do this trick, dude. They love it. They love it. And so I come shot, bro. I'm, I finish myself off. There's two girls in front of me in a line, <laughs> two foot apart from each other, two foot apart from me. So me, two feet, girl, two feet, two feet, girl. I ski and I whip it <laughs> and it goes around it goes the first girl <laughs> and in the second girl. Slow dude. motion, dude. Impregnated, dude. Impregnated. Monster. Damn. But I got low sperm count, so <laughs> it doesn't work. Really yeah, it, hey, it still fun. works. That uh, <laughs> instead of curving bullets, you're curving nuts. That's Cur- the name I'm, of the I'm episode. Curving skeets. Curving skeets. Curving curving skeets. <laughs> curving skeets. I don't, I that don't sounds know. like a bad. I feel like there's a market we can tap into, man. People are like touch my podcast to the fence. Yeah, what is this. And that's true, though. That's a garbage. great title. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. We can it's get just some long. Trends. That's the only issue. Like, you're not going to see the whole title. Yeah. It's going to say, touch the podcast. Through touch the my dot, podcast dot, dot. through the... Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So maybe I should do a shorter one. Yeah. I didn't think of that. But it would look really funny. Can I do both? <laughs> I feel like Curvin <laughs> Skeets is a little aggressive. 
Do you think Skeets would get like? I think so the last episode was called Pegging. Was it with a question yeah, mark? Yeah, but I mean, all right, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we go aggressive in this. We go aggressive. We this go podcast. Aggressive. Oh god! All right, so let's let's move on. What else we got? Because okay. we got topics, right? We got a lot of shit. Um, we can go in so many different directions. Do you mm. want to do the raw meat shit first? That was pretty crazy. You want to talk about it? We could talk about it. So, do you know the name off off the top of your head? So, yeah, I follow him on Instagram. Yeah, and I sent it to you in your messages. I have them right here. So basically, I was on Instagram and I found this guy called Raw Meat Experiment. Boom. Okay. Right there. Yep. And um, this guy. I also just got a phone call. <laughs> okay. Um, so this guy yep. about 80 days ago started this experiment where he's eating raw meat. Yeah. And like aggressive raw meats like chicken, steaks, uh, sheep eye, testicles, brains, heart, liver. Yeah. So apparently this guy did some research and found out that a raw diet is really, really healthy if you do it the right way and eat it fresh. So he started off for six months. Before this Instagram page, I was reading this blog he put up. He, for six months, ate raw eggs, raw milk, and uh, raw liver every day. That just sounds... Not a lot of it, but like little by little. Yeah. Got used to it. Inching your way into Inching it. Inching your way That's into it. That's the smart way to do That's it, That's the though, smart way to do you it. You know? And then he started dropping videos day one of eating meat until I get sick and die. Raw meat until I get sick and die. That's literally the caption yeah. in, in his videos. I was shocked when I read that. Yeah. Like, I was like, this is real. It's real. Yeah. And there are videos of him with no... Con- he doesn't talk. Right. He doesn't bother. He doesn't ask questions. He's sitting there looking at the camera. Steak... Chicken, sheep eye. I saw him eat a, a, a testicle where he cut open the testicle and was eating it. A glass of raw milk, which means it wasn't boiled. It's milked, cooled, shipped, drank, and raw eggs. And he eats it all. The chicken makes the me chicken gag. chicken one was rough. Makes me gag. Dude. He had a chicken breast. Yeah. I think I told you. Uh, even thinking about it makes me fucking queasy, dude. I think I – did I tell you I gagged? Like I literally like – No, you didn't tell me. I watched that page for a little bit because yeah. I was kind of in disbelief. I watched like all of them. Probably. I was like, this isn't real. This is tricked yeah. somehow. And I looked at it. I was like, no, this God, real. this is real. This is real, dude. And then the chicken one, I was like, Bleh, like in bed. I was like, fuck this. And that one was aggressive because yeah. he, it's so easy for him to bite into. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. weird. It's like a tender but – Jello-y tender. Like, it looks I don't like know. jello. Yeah, I don't it really know how does to describe like it. It was, uh, it was really <laughs> it was gross. so gross. And it was fresh. So like when you get uh, uh, produce at the market, yeah. usually like the color is intensified. So yeah. you buy it. Right. But if it's fresh, it looks fucking gray, especially chicken meat. It's like yeah. gray. And that's what he was holding was a fresh chicken breast. Yeah. So like a bunch of farms are sponsoring sponsoring him now. And Far- they, Wait, what? Yeah, so his posts, he doesn't just eat raw meat he buys from the grocery store. He gets these raw meats from Oh, farms. that's – okay. I did see something like yeah. that on one of them. I was like, I don't know what that means, but – Let me pull it up. Um, what was his uh, tag again? His tag is mm-hmm. raw meat experiment raw on meat Instagram. Experiment. He has 39,000 followers and he just posts videos every day. So his most recent one is eating uh, – day 71, eating ground beef and raw eggs. Uh, he didn't have a – uh, okay, so I'm going to skip that one because that one didn't have a sponsor. This one is a sponsor, a bison farm, and the other one is a milk organic farm. So, I mean, this is real shit. What are you going to drop? Hit, him, hit me with the oof. <laughs> Should I? Hit me with the oof. Thank you. I don't know. I, I mean, just something about that. Like, I guess if you have nothing else to lose, maybe you made it. He's like a multimillionaire. And no, he, like he got everything. No. Why would you do that, though? He's just a young kid. But why? He's a young kid that did his research. And, I mean, there is evidence supporting a raw meat diet. Yeah, but uh, – Because you have to have the bacteria and the enzymes to break it down. And, and if you do – A lot you, of what I've seen – because I've seen this okay. shit in tribes and shit and in yeah. documentaries. They do it from birth and they're fine. And yeah. They're very strong humans. Right. This dude – I just I, I'm always scared when people will go 10, 20 years normally and then do a switch. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. Well, I I will say this. He made an interesting point. And yeah. I mean, we're human and it's different, and I get that hundred percent, but he made an interesting point. If you have a dog and you go from feeding it processed food to feeding it raw meats and raw veggies, your dog is healthier. 
Good that, point. That's just the way it is. Good point. Considering your dog's a carnivore for the most part. And they do process it a little differently. And they do so. process it differently. But that is a good argument. But that is a good argument. Yeah. So again, if you have the enzymes, all right, all right. So I think it's koalas. <laughs> When koalas give birth to their offspring, they throw up in the baby's mouth. Yeah, I think or, I've or seen. Because the koalas, or I think it's pandas, they need to get the enzyme from their parents to break down the eucalyptus tree or yeah. the bamboo. I don't remember which yeah. is which. It, it is one of the it's family one of the like two. that I've right. seen. So if you have that enzyme to break down raw meat and you inch your way into it, I mean, this guy's healthy. Yeah. He's been doing the you know raw liver and eggs for six months before this, and he's on day 71 now. So it's an easy nine months of eating raw meat. He's yeah. not dead. Yeah. And his skin. So this is something I so looked into. I was going to say, what are the what have we seen benefits-wise with him so Dude, far? Yeah. That, you can see it on his okay. face. I went to the first video. Awful. My bad. Awful acne. Awful. Holes in his face. Don't shit on him. <laughs> I'm going to shit on him. Holes <laughs> in his face. Ugly ass fucking pimples everywhere. Ugly ass. <laughs> I would have rather seen an asshole. <laughs> Look like an asshole. No, I'm joking. Yeah. But his skin didn't have good skin. Okay. Objectively. Right, right, right. In his new videos, his skin looks really fucking good. So skin Healed already is up better. Amazingly. I wonder Obviously, if like he could be taking like lotions and medications. What if at the like same his time. dudes are like you think his dudes are still uh you his think what? He, his 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 perts, his shirts, his, his What are you saying? <laughs> trying to say right shits. Now, <laughs> oh his turds. His turds, his dude. Dudes, his, man. His, his dudes. Okay. You said you said everything. I said every <laughs> word other than what And we I'm like, I don't I thought you were talking about skeets. And I'm like, just say skeets. No, no, no. Well, I I don't know if that would be effective that would probably be what different. do you think his shits are like um i don't know right i have no like, idea fiber like fucking solid there's probably protein in They're that probably shit. solid as fuck that's probably really good protein yeah non-cooked protein fresh though fresh non-cooked protein yeah i'm sure there's nutritional value i haven't done the research yeah i'm not sure and i'm but... not gonna say don't Listen to us and fucking yeah. I'm gonna eat raw have. meat. I've, I feel like that goes without saying, but yeah, yeah don't you know. go eat raw chicken tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, please. but this look guy. up the raw meat experience. It's fucking. When I, I'm gonna do some more research and we'll yeah. talk about it next week. But I like the way this guy inched into it. He's still alive and he's doing videos every single day. Yeah, he's up to 40k followers and he's just like he's this is the type of it. shit I like. By the way, I yeah. like when you find this type of shit. And and we bring it up on the pod because yeah. I never ever would have found. And no, like nobody's this. talking about this guy. No one is. Dude. He's new. forty thousand followers. We're the first fucking people yeah. talking about this. We asshole, better break dude. it. Yeah, we're breaking. We're breaking the internet right now. <laughs> yeah, let's let's tag him again. Raw and meat experience. This guy has more exposure than we do. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. We're trying to be. And like, we're trying to be. Go, like, go dude. <laughs> like what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, raw we're meat selfless. experiment on Instagram. Yeah. Seeing if I'll live for five days or 500 years. Follow yeah. me for more recipes. What if this dude lives to be 200 years old because he's doing this shit? Imagine Who like there's some crazy fucking Who benefit. Knows? You know what I mean? So, okay. All right. Speaking of, let me hit you with something. All right. So I'm watching it and I start from day one because I want to see the progress of if he actually stuck with it, if he skipped, whatever, which he didn't. He was very consistent. But I wanted to see when his channel started growing. What point? Did he hit a couple hundred followers, a couple dozen followers, and then a couple thousand followers? Because that's a very different growth point. Right. And he's only been having this Instagram account for about three months. Very, very yeah. new. Okay? Well, so, I have theories. Okay, I, I know keep, what it is. Yeah, okay. I, I looked at it. I right. found the exact point when everything changed. Yeah. One post. You know what it was? He was memeing on himself. He made a meme about how people perceive him and about how he's like, fuck it. I'm just going to do me. And every other post before that has about 150 likes, 170 likes, that one not jumped much. Up, yeah. 23,000. Okay. That one meme memes that people are just smart. thought memes are smart. Mm. Memes are funny. That was a good idea. This guy's a beast. I will say though, he has the perfect perfect content for it. Content for it. You it know, the perfect, like there's yes. It's shock value. Yes. Like very high shock value. It's, there are no cussings. <laughs> yes. There's no sexuality. Right. He's not yelling at anybody. Nobody's yelling at him. He's out in the open. He's not promoting anything. He's not promoting it. Yeah. He's, he's just saying, this, just is like, this is what I'm, what I'm doing. doing. I could die. I could live to 100 years. Yeah. Check out what I'm doing. And it's it's shocking. It's shocking. Yeah. And anybody can watch it. And it's kind of gross. It's, and it's gross. <laughs> and it's like, but you can't stop watching. Yeah. Yeah. I think you got any raw. For, take, take out the raw chicken. I got the chicken from the freezer. I got some frozen beef in that fucking freezer. Dude, let's defrost that bitch. No. Okay, that's probably the best. Yeah. For the best. I will 
violently throw up. Do you think – I think I could eat raw meat. I've eaten raw meat before. No, no I've way. eaten raw – yeah, you can. No. I've eaten – well, you'd have to convince we've me it wasn't raw, raw meat. We've eaten raw. I've raw eaten raw fish. fish, yeah. But you'd have to convince me it wasn't raw. If I knew it was raw, I'm already going into it too fucking. I'm in my head already. So you've never had steak tartare? Tartare? Yeah. I've had prime rib, which is pretty raw. So, okay, but at that point, that's not blood. That's just like it was cooked to a certain temperature. Yeah, it was chewy as fuck. It's so, chewy, but yeah. it's not actually raw. Yeah. It's undercooked though. Um so that's when they cut steak really, really thin. They don't cook it, and they put it in a vinegary, acidy sauce. I don't think I've heard of it. I've had it before. Tartar. I've, I thought we had it, but I guess not. It's a little extreme, <laughs> but it's not bad. It actually breaks it out of your mouth really nicely. It has to be very fresh beef. It's cut very thinly, and it has that acidic sauce, so it does cook in itself a little bit. Okay. That sounds like that's just a good, a smart chemical reaction. You know what I mean? Whoever thought of that is like really like ingenious. Yeah, but that's sushi stuff. You yeah. get that on any sushi plate. So I wouldn't say that's not really food. like biting into a raw. But it is raw meat though. I know. Yeah. It's not cooked. Yeah. And they're only placing the sauce over it in the last couple minutes. It's not yeah. cooking there for a long time. It's been there for a couple seconds. Maybe. Right. Yeah. And it's cold. The meat's supposed to be cold. You put it over rice and you just eat it. It's really, really nice. So, I mean, I, I guess I've eaten raw meat too. Yeah. But could you eat like if someone cut up raw chicken and put it in front of you, could you do it? Yeah. I don't hundred percent. I'd have to be told something. You eat scallop, bro. It's the same same texture, same. I everything. haven't tried scallop. Is it good? You've never eaten scallop? Well, when I was a kid, I was a picky bitch, so Dude, I, I didn't eat like any what? seafood. Dude, all seafood I've tried as an adult, I love. So. You've never eaten scallop. You want to grab some or something? Well, you're getting lunch with your dad later. Actually, uh, he rescheduled. He's he's wicked busy today. So did um, he really? Yeah, he, we're gonna go tomorrow. And Let's Jake, go grab some lunch. Jake wants to go out after this too. Let's go. Would you want to fucking? Yeah, I'll I was gonna it, bring it up, but you were gonna. Jake, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll hit him up, but um, oh yeah. Yeah. So uh, what were we talking about with that raw fit, raw meat, and raw shit? meat? Yeah, raw, raw meat. meat experience. Definitely check him out. Um, I mean, half the women on the planet eat raw meat already. Okay. So we're just joining. them. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna die on that hill with you. <laughs> and ten percent of men, I don't know what percent of, of men. It's definitely like forty percent of men. Uh, it's a good amount. Dead. I, I I would have guessed if you would ask me, I'd guess Dead fifteen twenty percent. Dick at mix, yeah. That I would say meat. no, no, no. That's aggressive. Okay, I'm sorry. Men that eat men. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, from now on, this well, is the term: think... <laughs> men that eat men. Where this is. I was going to say, men that will enjoy sexual relations with another man. I'd say it's almost. It's like, a lot of the world, dude. I, you think more than 20%? I do, yeah. Really? I do. I, I would have never guessed. I Especially don't know. Especially nowadays. Don't know. I'm not trying like... to be ignorant. I just would never have guessed. Yeah, I don't you know. know. Well, because I feel like there's a lot of guys, especially not in America, mm -hmm, that are mm -hmm. just straight men, but they will enjoy sex with a guy every now and then. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I got to so be that honest. I think yeah. counts. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, can you imagine being that free? I can't. No. If I didn't – I work with a guy like this. Yeah. I don't no, want to oust him. I've been told uh, – we talked about this. Did we? I think on the podcast. I think we probably have. Yeah. About everything on this I think you said his name too. Well, ooh, yikes. <laughs> Did you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe uh, I'll, well, bleep. <laughs> I'll circle back to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Ew, I don't want to put his name out there. Okay, yeah. But I mean I know a guy like this. Yeah. And I think he's – number one, I think he's incredibly attractive. He's a very good-looking, handsome man. And I only say that because – did he – so does he do this like actively, I should say? like is uh, he, Yeah. So he's, he currently – he's brought it up. Like he's brought it up to me openly. And he identifies as a straight man. No, he's not straight. Oh. Well, that's different I think. That, what do you mean? Oh, well, we're just talking about being like that free, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm that's, just yeah, talking sorry. about being free. Yeah, sorry. But like he was – he was talking about how his girlfriend, her ex is coming over for the weekend. Okay. And her ex was going to stay over their house. And one of my coworkers looked at him really weird. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? And he's like, and she's like, are you okay with that? He's like, yeah, it's fine. We're all free. We're all open minded. Right. Like he tried to tell her without actually telling her. And she just was like really like perturbed because she's like a married woman and she's younger. And she's like, I don't understand how are you gonna be okay with sleeping in the same house with your girlfriend and her ex? Yeah. And he's like, Oh yeah, we're all gonna have fun together. Okay. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, That's why he's coming. And she goes, Oh, and I was like, girl, and I tried to stop her. Right. I was like, girl, like, you, you, need, you don't need to. I was like, because I knew what was going on. I was right. like, 
I don't want to say her name either. But I was like, we did talk about this, and yeah. I do remember we did, you didn't say names because yeah, yeah. I remember last time joking about it. I do remember having this right, conversation. Good. Yes, but, I was like, I don't want to put their names out there. Yeah, because, but it was super interesting. I being that free would be amazing. I was gonna say if I found men attractive in yeah. the least bit, I probably yeah. would do that because yeah. I'm already pretty sexually like open with girls. You know, I don't really yeah. like. Like, I tell everything what's eh, up. To an extent, I guess. Yeah. But like you said, I, I think the way you put it is if I found men attractive. It's yeah. not if you found men sexually attractive. I think those are two. Because I can find nah. a man attractive. Okay. All right. I guess, like, yeah. And, and right. So the guy I'm describing that I work with. I'd you, say the penis is what throws it off for me. The, pe the penis, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't do much for me. It admittedly. doesn't do much. <laughs> it doesn't do much. I, and that's and the no, part. Having uh, that's the part, tits then. can kind of like throw you off. I guess uh, there's a lot of features um, about dudes that just don't don't do it for me. But okay, <laughs> are we are we on a thin line? No, 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 no. Dude, you're good, you're good. It's all good. It's should all good. I should I cut any of that? <laughs> no, 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 I love it. I love it. Keep it all in. All right, all right. Keep I'm sorry, in. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no, no. Uh, I, we've said more than enough. Do you think you could attain that sexual freedom at one point in your uh, life? Um, I don't think I'll ever be there. Because, like I said, I'm just – I'm genuinely – I don't – dicks don't do anything for me. Yeah. I don't enjoy eating other men. Yeah, right. If I did. Men who eat men, good for them. What if you uh, – <laughs> Women who eat women, good for them. What if you were eating a girl's ass at an orgy and then you ate the girl's ass next to her and found it at the guy's ass? <laughs> I wouldn't go back. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I'd like, because my, I mean, imme yeah. my immediate response, and this is why I know I'm not into, because my immediate response would be like, oh, geez, yikes. Yeah, like, right. Oh, no, oh. I mean, I feel like if you a know. dude was bent over, you'd see the dick and balls. So. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, you'd see balls. You'd be pretty Unless if I were shwasted. Yeah. Or it's dark. It's pitch black. Or both. Everyone's just fucking it. Or we're both dark. Shwasted. Or it's like dark with these lights. An orgy in the pitch black doesn't sound like fun. Doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound good. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good way to spread COVID. We should go to an orgy tonight, dude. Do you have an orgy we can go to? Because I'm down. I know of people. All right, let's go. Okay. Let's figure it out. Yeah, we should let Jake I'm go in. too. Yeah. Jake's, I don't, I think we should even bring his name up. I feel it's like that's, probably a good I feel idea. like we're kind of burying him there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, sorry, listen to this. Jake's definitely not coming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, oh, no, no. Um, it's all good. Yeah. Catching COVID at the orgy, the only way I know how. Yes. What are we doing for time? Damn, we're only 27 minutes in again on this again. one. It feels on, like we're going... Money. It, it's probably because we're just like riffing, so we're mm, like... Mm. It feels like a lot in a short amount of time. It really does. Know? It really does. All right. How... You want to keep going for a little bit? Um. Yeah. Do you want to take a break? No, I'm good. I just mean we can wrap up in like five, ten minutes, or we yeah, can go into on. some metaversal type. Let's go of into talks. some metaverse. I don't know anything about metaverse. Let's, really? Okay. Yeah. So that's probably good then. I, so. I know. I know that people are investing money and time into it. Other than that, I don't know right, much. Right. Right. So I've really started hearing about it mm. like big, like on the Joe Budden podcast. Okay. So he was talking about it with a few of the people on there, and you know they're four grown ass adults. They're in their forties. Some mm -hmm. are in their thirties. Is that still going on? And the Joe Budden. Yeah, the Joe Budden podcast. Yeah, yeah it's a fire ass podcast. It's going well. Still, probably one of my favorite ones. I say top two or three, to nice. be honest. But nice. yeah, it's not comedy. It's like everything music based. And mm -hmm. yeah, um, what are they saying? Metaverse. Metaverse. They're talking about it. They were talking 40s. about it, dude. And I thought like the meta thing yeah. was just like like the word meta in the theme of meta has been around forever. But yes. this it's a different recent new thing. Mm -hmm. The metaverse is apparently. So they kind of broke it down to the kids and everything and, and to their other adult friends and mm -hmm. fathers and parents they know and shit. It's the digital world that everyone is connected in. So they consider their social media profiles, gaming profiles, the VR stuff, even those things to be a part of a meta, the metaverse that we're all a part of. Oh, so metaverse isn't a platform. It's not – it's like digital world. Oh. And they're saying that like oh. – because like – so like – I thought know. Metaverse was like a, a website and a game you can download. So that's a huge part of it, right? So I'm going to throw something There's up like in the There's like VR TV. chat, which I know is different. I'm throwing something up. So this – look at it. Right up in the corner, right? MetaQuest. Uh-huh. So Facebook owns Meta now. MetaQuest, MetaVerse. I think Facebook is owns all this shit. Oh, yeah. It's on Facebook's app when you open it. It's on mm -hmm. Instagram and shit now. Mm -hmm. So this is like the VR platform. 
and people, I mean, we see videos of people failing in this shit all the time, you mm -hmm. know? They're all over, like, IG and shit, running into walls. It's hilarious. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. people are, like, now saying they're... So, like, this website, this, this platform, Oculus, mm -hmm. is creating this in a more simplified version. They're theorizing that instead of just the hand things and the goggles, they're getting it to a point where you could pretty much put on glasses and okay. be in the metaverse, be okay. in this digital world. Okay. And you could just have like links that like you wear, like gloves or something. Mm -hmm. And you're always in this virtual reality. So you could just put your glasses. That's, I mean, that's where it was. On. I'm getting so excited. This is right. Great. This is here. <laughs> this is what I wanted. Yeah. So like in this shit, this is what I wanted. People bro. are like meeting each other. You can like go to like video and like uh, football games now. Mm -hmm. So like a live football game, right? Mm -hmm. They're saying they're gonna put cameras in sections and seats so you where can you can put there. these goggles on. Interesting. And you're in the game, and your friend can be next to you from his home across the country. That's sick. That's crazy, dude. That's, sick, dude. <laughs> That's nuts. Just watch it live and turn and see yeah. the people. You're and like, what up, a, dude? They do a wave and you, ah, right, right. At the same time. And I don't know how that'll affect. Like, I don't. I'm sure they have to work a ton of shit out to do that. But I, the hardest part about that, interestingly enough for me, is not the programming the software because that. I mean, we've done it a million times. Right. Programming software just takes time. Right. But we can do it. Right. The hardest part is the contracts. Right. Is getting everybody on board because if you can go yeah. to concerts and this shit. Right. <laughs> if you can go to baseball events, if you can go to art galleries, if you can, uh, you know, go to public spaces that people pay to be at. Right. In this, I, that's going to change the game. Dude, it's changing. It's going to change the world. If you can, but let me tell you, if you can be in a physical space and then also have a subspace of that space be a meta space. Right. At the same time. Right. So like you can be in the room chilling and then you put on your glasses and press a button and then you're like, yo bro, I'm sitting over here and right. your boy comes over and you're actually in the cafe. Right. <laughs> and, and your boy is just chilling next to you. Right, dude. And you're not, the only way you'll be able to tell is walking if around is if you on. have the glasses on. Right. You'll be able to see like That's like Free Guy. You've seen Free Guy? I've, I've seen scenes. I haven't free Guy seen the movie is so yet. good. Dude. I heard it's really good. And I, it I, actually I is. It stays in its lane. I heard exactly. Really like it's it's kind of dumb, but it's like it fits the movie perfectly. It fits the movie perfectly. Like, perfectly yeah. yeah. But um, so their main example of this, right? And this mm -hmm. shit excites the fuck out of me. So we're, so getting, we're getting passionate. This but, is what I want. This is what I want. I love this tech shit. Plug me in. So their example was, all right, they're – all the people are still going to want the in-person experience and it's not going to get taken away from them. So mm -hmm. you go to a soccer game, right? Mm -hmm. Global mm -hmm. soccer game, FIFA world champ. Mm -hmm. 100,000 people are in the stands. Now you can sell to 6 billion people around the world to be there virtually. Those True. ticket sales? Skyrocket. Skyrocket. This yep. is the whole economy will shoot the fuck up. Yeah. Everything will fucking True. get better. Because COVID shut everything out because you can't go anywhere. Yeah. But aside from like going to restaurants to eat, I mean, you can go to bars and just have your own liquor. Right. It's like chill. Imagine your boy goes to the bar and you're right. sick. You can't go, but you want to drink. You're but you want to drink. Yeah. You're an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. So you're like, you're <laughs> fucking cold as shit. And you go <laughs> in your chair and you have yourself a beer and you just meet him in there. Right. He has his glasses on and somebody can be <laughs> sitting in that seat and you're like talking to him. He's like, bro, what are you talking to? Like, no, nah, I'm, I'm in the metaverse. You're like, yo, I'm in this. <laughs> and he's like, oh shit, my bad, bro. I thought you were talking to me. Right. You know? So wait. That's dope. But people, you think people would have to like sit in like sections in order to be in like the metaverse because you could just be at a bar and the person right next to you be actually with someone and yeah. confuse the fuck out of everyone. Well, you know? at that point, you just converse with them and be like, yo, I'm in the metaverse. I'm okay. not talking to you right yeah. now. Yeah. I yeah. think, and that's like having a phone conversation. At that point, it's going to be so normal. People will be like, oh, you're talking to me? No? Okay, fine. Right. There's probably going to be signs like in your glasses, like reflective. Yeah, so right. So I can see the person, but on the outside, you see, I am not talking to you're you. Right. <laughs> I am logged in right yeah. now. That's, I don't know. I'm so man. excited, dude. <laughs> I'm going to be 80 fucking... 20 year old bitches in the metaverse. Oh, hell, hell yeah. yeah what? I'm going to be a pimp in the metaverse. There, there's going to, bro, I'm going to be pimping hoes. Yeah. There's going to be a dick attachment. Bro. <laughs> Dude, and they're going to have a bodysuit. They're, they're going to have, have a bodysuit. They're going to have all this kind of shit, yeah. bro. And like, it's I'm going to be eating raw meat at 80 years old in Living, my fucking metaverse. I'm going to be in. Imagine that's the secret. Right. You just love to be 200. Why? I don't see raw meat. Eat raw meat. And you play in the virtual road. It's, it's probably going to get really obese. But it's but. a big sacrifice because food at that point sucks. Yeah, yeah. You do not enjoy it. And You're not salting your meat. You're the public world is going to be so much different. Like how many people are really going to go out when you can do everything from home? Everything. Well, I feel Down like – fucking. <laughs> like you can fuck someone virtually. I you know. both are just wearing equipment. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like – 
I mean, you could do anything virtually, man. Yeah. Like, you can bowl virtually. Like yeah. you go to a bowling alley and you're physically doing the bowling and you're on the same screen. Right. But they're home doing virtual bowling. Right, right. And you, you know, really this couldn't. is going to come with like the freaky shit where uh, this is my own conspiracy theory. No one's talked about this yet, but you're going to be able to keep maybe memories or things you can like record or something. Yeah. Stuff you can go back to. People you're no longer with, you go there in the virtual reality and you're right. with them now. Like, right. That's, that'll fuck people up. Like but. imagine, imagine you go bowling with your boy and a couple of years later he dies, but you recorded that. Right. So you can go back to that and you can relive you that can entire keep, keep moment. Keep bowling. Just keep doing it with them and he just, yeah, same shit. Like, the same that's, interaction. That'd be that's fucking, cool. yeah. Um, yeah, I'm all, I've always told you I'm game for this. This is what I've wanted. This right. is what I've been waiting for. Right. Sign. I'm the first one. Dude, if they're like, you have to implant a, chain, a chip into your brain first. I'm like, all right, I'm the first in the line. Right. I'm the first shelling out money for that. Yeah. Do you have VR? Uh, no, I was actually just going to look at it. So uh, I love VR. we it should costs- buy VR, dude. Look at this. Uh, mad cheap. I mean, a VR headset, how much does it cost for? Uh, it's like a hundred bucks for them. Look it up. Look up Gear VR. Oh, and it's really hard to look at. <laughs> yeah, I know. While you, doing this, yeah, you have to do it. It's delayed. <clears throat> Sorry for the audience. We're uh, scrolling the computer. Oh, they can't see? Well, the listeners won't be able to tell what we're doing. So we're looking at the Oculus website right now on this whole oh, this is games. MetaQuest shit. But yeah, so this is just the game shit they have. Yeah. Um, oh, they don't sell. They don't have yeah, the they do. They here. definitely do. Uh, Rift S Quest 2, the top two. Uh, Quest 2, uh, Quest Quest 2. Just brought me up here. What's that? No, it's reloading. Because this is a... I think there's two. There's a portable one and there's a one that you plug in. Okay, this is it. 5,000 reviews and it's five stars. Oh, I'll just hit buy now. Let's see how much it costs. 300 bucks and 400 bucks. Not bad. Look at the other one. Look at the Rift S. Rift S, Rift S, yeah. Rift Cause S. Because I, I wonder... Oh, this is the independent unit. Yep. Okay. So this is all in one. You don't need a computer for this. You can just right. play this, and it's its own. There is the thing though, where like so, in a lot of them, yeah. you're not supposed to move. What There's do you things mean? where like you have a joystick to move, and a lot of people make yeah. the mistake of moving. So if I, I mean me, I would probably try to either like sit down somewhere, or close mm-hmm. up myself off in a room, move all the shit on the floor. But mm-hmm. that's the one thing that I always see online is everyone fucking fallen <laughs> running into walls and shit yeah because the thing is and it's a lot of older people that i've done vr plenty of time have you ever played it uh i've done it a few times me and uh jake actually have a video which maybe i'll throw in the pod okay. right now okay maybe is it funny right in the second um it's probably gonna be hard to find but yeah he was boxing and there's this vr place uh down the street actually uh well in windham but there's this vr thing you can go to yeah and he was boxing the dude and he was running around the ring and the dude fell on the ground and he like sprinted up to him and tried booting him in the face like it was a real fight in real life and he just and he just punted the wall wicked hard i was like oh my god jake did that yeah jake did dude what the fuck mad funny they're like Um, bro bro what the fuck are you doing if i can't find it though i might just keep that story in because that's it might have been a little while ago fuck come on uh robbie has the full he has like the original one that you plug to the computer okay um yep which is fine but it turns out that you don't need a powerful computer to run vr you really don't no they can do it independently which is why this one's selling way more i think i was gonna say this one you don't need a computer at all right yeah, i'm pretty this sure this one alone. yeah the rift s might, might be different i think that's just the one that you buy it's a hundred bucks okay like yeah maybe one. i should look at that one right after this then all right i probably don't have the video for it that's upsetting so that's I'll just, okay you i'll just keep the later. story in but it I'll was fucking so funny video. That is hilarious. Um, I do want to peek at the Rift S just to see if that's anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where was it? Uh, it's hard to see. You got it. Just takes a minute. No longer available. What is it? Hold on. Go down. Go down. No longer available. All in one. So it wasn't all. Oh no, no, no. This isn't a all in one. Yeah, I think they probably just had it selling separately, but I think they're just making the Quest too because they probably okay. had too many issues with it. You know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so uh, that was our tech sci-fi shit, but I do kind of want to stay on it. So in a part of the metaverse, we have... You want to go buy one today? I have a Best Buy credit card. I mean, we can. I, it's, I To be honest, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> to yeah. be completely honest with you. I, I mean, I though. could. I, I, I got to buy my dad dinner tomorrow. No, so I'm, not saying, I'm not saying you. I'm not saying for you. I'm saying I might buy one. Okay, yeah. If you, if you guys en- enable me say, the right fuck, way. I mean, no, I can, I'll play. Come back and play for a little bit. I'll bring it. I'll bring it. Uh, have you heard of Engineered Arts? It's a company in the United Kingdom. No. Bro. 
Are this like uh, the MIT These are robots. robots. So this is what I oh, thought. Oh, you sent me the link of this, right? You sent me this on Instagram? This is what I thought. So I thought this shit was fake. This bitch is creepy, dude. Dude, when we look at the... There's, there's got to be a video, video gallery. Oh, I've seen it, yeah. When we fucking look at some of this shit, it scares the fucking shit it's out of crazy. me. We are all going to die. Post it on Vimeo. That's old school. I don't even know if Vimeo was still up. Put all these robots on kill mode. Look at that shit. Well, interesting. And the other ones, they can like have conversations with you. I think this one, they're just like programming to see like emotions. Yeah, this is just like human emotion. That's all this is. Why do humans need to? We're put pushing emotion. To a robot. Bro, did you know that we just learned how to fly in the early 1900s? I think it was like 1902. Yes, the Wright brothers. The Wright brothers. Yeah. 1902. A hundred years later, we got motherfuckers in space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In a hundred years, we went from just, just getting off the ground. Right. To going to mother fucking space and to think there was like points where there's thousand years of like stone steel yes you know what i mean iron gold but then it's just a hundred years and we're fucking we got rockets dude what changed the carbon game, material <laughs> what changed the game is we invented this platform which is computers we invented this platform where we have infinite capability because with our hands we have a very finite capability right. we have very finite influence but on the computer with through programming it's infinite right, right. and and bro yeah this is amazing i mean through technology they, not only they're computer, talking about it and, and uh scientists and psychologists have been talking about it for years now but you can essentially put a number to everything Sorry, I didn't know they were going to talk so fast. You can essentially put a number to everything. So they're saying like love. You mm. can assign a number pattern and variables to everything, to something like love, to mm -hmm. how it makes someone feel. It's just as soon as they figure it out, they can put it in a robot. Mm -hmm. But they got to figure it out. <laughs> that's I, I'm not really worried about this whole robot thing. I'm going to be honest with you because that's the whole point of having a robot is that we have control over them. Right. And humans are so distrustful of this kind of stuff that we're going to have fail safes. I, I'm not worried about this robot. Apocalypse. I don't give a shit about this. What this the isn't fuck impressive is this? to me. Yeah. I thought they were just talking. I don't They're care about fucking this. Fucking singing some shit. Well, either way, there was just one of them where they were like saying something in the, in, in the sentence. And they were just like talking to the person and he said something and it just like turned and looked at him. I was like, whoa, not a big fan of that. But um, yeah, man, engineered arts got fucking real life robots now. I don't know. Will you fuck one of these robot hoes? Realistic never say never. Bro. Realistic pussy, bro. Self-lubricating technology. The more you fuck, the wetter she gets. Son. All right? No. No, 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 no. I can't nut. <laughs> you're, you're like, you're like, <laughs> I don't, you don't even know what to say to that. Yeah, well, I was trying to hit the nut button while you were saying that, but it just kind of kept going off. So I guess it's not working. No. Why she's just blaring that wicked loud. Who knows? Yeah, but we can't hear it. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... Um, Would you fuck these robot hoes? No. Why not? I don't know. Like I said, never say never. But you just said no. But if I see one in 50 years and it looks like fucking... 50, huh? <laughs> 50 after you have a wife and kids, 50, huh? Dude? Well, I'm thinking, I don't That's know. fucked. <laughs> Maybe I might need a robot one in 50 years, but I feel like I'm going to go for a human until then, you know? But no, I'd say I'm going to lead with no. What about you? I fuck these robot hoes. Bro. Yeah. I just fuck that robot hoes. Would you wife so, up a robot hoe? No, I'll keep her in my closet though. That's offensive. Who cares? You're ro robophobic. Robo robot sexual. <laughs> Robosexual. That's true. Robophobic. A robophobic. And there's gonna be fucking laws against robots, you know? No, no, there's not, dude. Because, like I said, ultimately, what makes a robot a robot is the fact that we have control. Uh, artificial intelligence only goes so far. Even if we were like, uh, it's never. I don't think it's ever gonna get to the point that we think it's gonna get to. I don't think. That, I don't think it's ever. Gonna I get am to not that. gonna lie. I don't think we're smart enough to make artificial intelligence. Because the second that we are, it it is gonna be fucked. But it just depends on whoever I, has it. You know. I, I agree. We're we're not smart enough to get to the point right. that it's going to be that dangerous. Yeah. I don't think we'll ever reach that point. I don't think we're smart enough to make a self-evolving 
anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when to it comes extent, to like when it comes to like to a microchip extent. in a brain, like I feel like you it, if it's wiring and shit like that, it's going to be difficult to make yeah. that self evolve. So We'll probably get there. In there there's always going to be limitations, and I'm going to maintain the fact that the limitations will always be too powerful. Yeah, and, and they'll always contain that AI yeah. uh, uh, conspiracy. I don't think it's ever going to happen. You should read that book, Super Intelligence. It's mad fun, just going through all the theories that they have. Oh, is that what it is? Just theories. It just breaks down what all the possibilities could happen, and it doesn't say like any of it could be true because it always is the bottom line. Like right. it's, it's always going to be man-made error. If it ever comes to it, and That's humans just will not come get to that point, because ultimately point. this artificial intelligence we're building, it, it's it's not so easy to build something organic. I mean, yeah. all, it, it's responding; it's code responding to code. It's if X happens, Y happens. So, yeah, that limitation I don't think will ever be. But who knows? Who yeah, knows? and if it happens, it'll be after I'm dead, and I don't give a shit anyway. So we um, do you want to anal? Because I think your laundry's done. It was about an hour ago. All right, yeah, let's it anal. takes an hour. Let's anal. I'll show him the shit I've been watching. He'll be like, "Dude, this is fucked." Yeah, he'll probably like it. Do you think Jake will be surprised by anything? I don't think you can show Jake anything to be like, other than men- maybe hentai. He didn't like watching that. Yeah, I guess something like porn related. Like if you showed him like dude fucking another dude he'd probably be like okay chill yeah <laughs> like, i'm not done to watch you know? this yeah, yeah that's like, true I'm, I'm cool that's fair but otherwise you're right like you could show him someone getting decapitated and he's like ah. yeah yeah he'll laugh and <laughs> he'll, he'll be like, like word <laughs> yeah seriously all right do i have anything dumb a fucking beast. uh amber heard's a cunt that's not <laughs> no, okay uh, booster rash, car driving in the same lane yeah that was pretty interesting uh bel air ranking okay yeah we can do this one um We'll end with something stupid, right? So we're going to rank Marvel characters like we did the theme songs. We're going to say Fox or Sox. Remember when we were like Fox, like the Fresh Prince? Fox, you know what I mean? All right. That was a while ago. Right? Cool. Bringing it back. Bringing it back. Fox and Sox. We're going Fox and Sox. (laughs) A funny name for a game. For for a game. (laughs) Fox is two guys hanging out in the apartment. (laughs) Fox and Sox. Fox and Sox. What were you guys doing over the weekend? Fox and Sox, We're playing Fox and Sox, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Me and my buddy You and another guy alone in the apartment. Yeah. Fucking and sucking. Fucking and sucking. (laughs) Okay. All right. Hulk. Fox. I go Fox. Sox, dude. You don't like the Hulk? Woo. Okay. Iron Man. Fox. Fox. Big time Fox. Wanda. Fox. What is What is her name? Scarlet Witch. I couldn't think of it. Scarlet Witch, yeah. Um, I was like, I think it's Wanda. Hawkeye. Sucks. Sucks. <laughs> Sucks. At least this version, the comic version was dope. Yeah, yeah. Ronan was dope. I really wish they did more than that fucking... Ronan. He only had like 20 minutes. That's what I mean. That. If they went more on that, especially in the Hawkeye series, that would have been great. They played it up so hard. They did. For yeah. it not to be anything. Yeah. Um, Natasha Romanoff. Sucks. I don't care. I'm on the fence. I mean, she's a beast as, of a spy. Like she's she fucks the shit pinnacle up. of a woman spy. Yeah, she she's fucks shit best. up. She definitely fucks shit up, but she kind of sucks. But she kind of sucks compared. Like, Captain Marvel fucks. Compared to the other Avengers, sucks. Captain Marvel, <laughs> okay, all right. I, didn't I think she's powerful. I like, eh, she didn't do much for me though. Okay, yeah. She. I hope they do more with her too. Yeah. Um, I think they will. But what other fucking superheroes are there? Spider Man. Fox. Big time Fox. Fox, right? Big number one right now. Fox. Number so one hard. Spider-Man. I think Doctor Strange goes without saying. How, how about uh, um, Samuel L. Jackson in the movie? What's this Nick guy? Fury? Nick Fury. Fox, Fox. dude. So Fox. Me- Fox he, like he's a so mother. cool. Yeah. He's so cool. He Fox. Big time Fox. Let's go um, Thor. Fox. Fox, yeah. I'm going Fox. Thanos? Fox. He fucks. He was a good villain. He's a good villain. He was a great villain. Great villain. Because they played him. He was all powerful. I like Ultron, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Ultron uh, was. He was a good villain to he, be. He man. was good for one movie, but that's all they had him around for. Well, yeah, yeah. That's a and good point. And then he eventually I guess. became Vision. Yeah. Or, or no, Vision came from that. Yeah. I don't know the the character of of Ultron. I thought was just well done. I thought they they played a good like sinister. Like, oh, I'm trying to save the world. And at the end, he's like, I'm going to fucking kill all you. What do you mean? <laughs> but like, that was him saving the world. He's like, right, I'm going to turn to metal. Doomed, yeah. You guys, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But um, I'm going to create a race that's going to be amazing. Wolverine. Fox. <laughs> and no, the X Men, you're going to start going off. You're going to be like, okay, I don't know. He fucks. He's the, he's the fuckiest of the X Men. He's the fuckiest. Magneto. I'm going fucks again. 
he is he's pretty dope. He fucking throws he's trains and shit. He's a dope ass. They know? really fucking played him up. You know what, man? I'm, really we're we're gonna go with Professor X, and I'm gonna say sucks, man. I buy the lot by Logan. Logan, right? Well, the Logan Professor X was kind of cool, actually. I liked that one, but really? in the movies, he wasn't. He just fucking dies, dude. He's dude. not that strong in the movies, and in the in the games and comics, he is so fucking good. Like. I, I hate how weak they made him in all the movies. That's they, what I'm saying. They made him like a no. mentor. So in the movies, he sucks. That's that's my in opinion. In movies, he sucks. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll marry that. Yeah. I'm with you. What about uh, Ice, the Ice dude? What's his name? Iceman? He's an X-Man. Iceman? Is that his name? That better not be his fucking name. <laughs> Sub-Zero? <laughs> well, sure. That's, but the X-Men that's Mortal version. Kombat. Well, there is that's one in Mortal the X-Men Kombat. movies, though. Yeah. I just don't know his name. Um, <laughs> but sucks. that guy sucks. sucks. You're, not, you're not fucking with him? Uh, Quicksilver. Fu- is it Quicksilver, Quicksilver fucks, dude. Fox, the, the dude. fast f- fucking. Fox, Ooh, dude. he fucks. He's really dope. Yeah. Yep. He's really dope. Because the way they made those scenes in the original X Men, I mean, they still hold up to this day. Yeah, facts. When he's running through the mansion, saving all the kids, throwing them out the windows. Facts. Amazing scene. Rogue. Do you remember her? Oh, the, Fox. the 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 bitch. Mega Fox. Rogue. Mega Fox. She's hot. She dude. steals people's powers and, and can kill them just by tapping him so like she's fucking oh that bitch she's super strong oh, dude. oh yeah, yeah 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 she dies pretty early in the movies but, does she really yeah she dies in like the second or third one oh. the old ones how about the teleporting guy night uh night night elf or some shit like that night crawler he's dope he fucks he's he can fuck the movies made him kind of a pussy too but i but i kind of like this character you kind of like the yeah. yeah well the the old older one right because like the younger version of him in the movies mm-hmm. he's a fucking loser mm-hmm. yeah but all the younger ones kind of suck, in my opinion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, d- uh, what's his name? Fantastic Four dude. Mr. Mr. I want to say Fantastic for some Mr. reason. I was going to say Mr. Incredible. Like <laughs> We're both like... Yeah. Oh, Reed Richards, that's his name. I just don't know his superhero name for some reason. But oh, dude, I, The stretchy I, dude. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get over it. I was going to say Elastigirl is not Elastigirl. <laughs> dude, what's his fucking name? Right? <laughs> Is it Mr. Fantastic? Why does that sound like something to me? I actually didn't hate him because I, for some reason, I was- I was going to say Fox. I was into the Fantastic Four comics. Yeah. And he was like super intelligent. I kind of liked those movies, dude. The movies weren't bad. I I, I fucked with the first one, at least. The 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 Silver Surfer one was weird, but- I actually didn't. I kind of liked that one, though. I don't remember it that much, but I feel like I didn't have- Um, The the Torch, love that character. Yeah. Flame on! It's funny, Johnny fucking- Storm in that movie is played by Chris Evans, who's Captain America. Oh, is it really? Yep. Yeah. Shut the so fuck he, like, up. He flipped on the Marvel. That's an alternate reality version. <laughs> yeah. Imagine they imagine they make a canon, dude. He yeah. meets himself. He's like, You're me. He's yeah. like, what the fuck? He's like, What powers do you have? Like, I'm just strong. <laughs> yeah. He's like, You can make fire. He's like, Yeah, dude. <laughs> That'd be sick. That'd be a weird spin-off that'd be like, really dope that'd be weird because one is like really patriotic and like a down-to-earth dude in, mm. in the movie the other one was like kind of like a wise ass like he was like a yeah he was like almost. a skater boy right you know the thing i thought he was kind of cool see i like that shit in the movies ass, though. yeah i mean i'd hate to be that thing. yeah just rock what's your power rocks yeah well you can shoot rocks no you can control rocks nope and he can't like turn it off so like He's what is always... it i'm rocks yeah i'm a pile of boulders and they're like so can you shoot them no yeah can you jump high doesn't fuck arguably he sucks, he sucks. but he fucks that that blind chick and she's hot in the movie yeah that scene i'll so, always no, wait, that scene for some reason invisible women fox doesn't she have like another power like she's like kind of telekinetic as well yeah yeah so she fucks yeah she has all that shit yeah. if she's just invisible ass yeah i think that's just what they called her but she like, has like telekinesis powers too. right yeah. right and she can fly and shit so yeah, yeah yeah she's cool i like that she was cool i i do think the stretchy dude would i think he fucks but i don't What's mean like fucking name dude i don't know dude i really can't think What's of it mr fantastic mr fantastic why does that sound like it no, what does that sound <laughs> doesn't, right, doesn't dude? that sound right fuck i gotta figure it out i gotta figure it out well, let's just see it let's just see it. the people listening that know it are gonna be like you well, stupid you... mother <laughs> yeah it's serious seriously it's totally Mr. Fantastic <laughs> for some reason, right? Like, why would that be his name, though? <laughs> um, yeah, I just see Reed Richards. Fuck. Oh, dude, I forgot. Victor Von Doom. Fox, bro. Who the fuck is He's that? He's the villain. He's the fucking the MF Doom mask with the oh, lightning bolts. Don't they like Star Wars him and like concrete at the end? Like they yes. can't kill him, right? Yeah. 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 
He fucks. He was. I liked him as a villain before all the. Bro, it's Mister Fantastic. Why? <laughs> it is Mister Fantastic. Where did that come from? That's his name. Is and then we're both like that name is so bad. It can't, <laughs> There's no way. It can't be it. Dude. It's Mister Fantastic. It can't be that bad. Dude. It's that bad, dude. Damn. But his name's Reed Richards. His Why? Where did Reed that come Richards. from? Why is Reed Richards called Mister Fantastic? Dude, you know in uh, the comics, Reed Richards kills Kang the Conqueror because of how fucking smart he is. Really? Yeah. Dude, I'm, fucking... I'm telling you, I liked Reed Richards in the com- For some reason, I read the comic and they were fucking good, Yeah, dude. dude, he's a genius. You know, he has a council of he's all like, the multiverse versions of himself like fucking so Rick does. So he's like does. Rick, dude? Well, that was like, I didn't know in that. In the 70s, though, so. That's it. Rick and Morty stole that shit, but. That, really? They stole it from him? Yeah, that was Probably. first. That was a I didn't know decades that. Decades ago. And like, Tony Stark is supposed to be the genius, but. Reed Richards. Yeah. They probably can't introduce his character because he's so intelligent. He'll just right. break the universe. And I mean, they were saying they were going to use fucking, what's his name? The uh, dude from The Office. I always forget his name. Jim Hopper. Yes. John something. Uh, Krasinski. John Krasinski. Krasinski. He's actually really good in the in Quiet Place. Yeah, that's so, a phenomenal movie. That was a great, great movie. That actually <laughs> reinvented the horror yeah. like, genre for me. That that silent shit, I was like, okay, this is how you do it. Genre. No yeah. music. I was like, oh. <laughs> dude suspenseful <laughs> i was actually watching this clip now we're going to change topics we're going off <laughs> we're now. going off now but there's this clip where in the beginning of the movie the little girl's walking through a grocery store mm. and every aisle is empty except for the chip aisle right because chips are too fucking loud you can't open them you can't eat them without being loud you bite into them crunch you can't crunch, do anything crunch. with chips you can't eat nothing dude you can't even look at them sometimes can't even look at them so, so. Just tilt over and <laughs> Kind of crazy that whole movie, like everything is soundproof. Yeah, it's crazy. I love like the That's concept of that movie. though. Like it really makes you like you're really you're sweating during the movie. Mm-hmm. You're like they don't even comedy. talk. No. They're sign language. Yeah, smart. Like, in your own house, imagine your own house. You can't make a sound. You know they really did that in real life because they're like husband and wife. So oh, and that was blood, his wife in real and, life. Huh? Yeah, they they did both. Uh, yeah, they've I've, learned sign language in real life and shit. And then so. the actress that was deaf, she was actually deaf. The little girl. I don't know. I she, don't know no, if that's she is. really I, their kids, but... That's not their kid. Okay, but, she's but she a, was actually deaf. She's a deaf actor. No shit, yeah. so th- that's probably why they learned yeah. it then. Yeah. Yeah, but they both um, actually did. I was like, oh, good for them. Yeah, that's actually one of my favorite parts of the movie is they actually use a deaf actress, which is great. Uh, that being said, have you seen number two or is it out yet? Because number two, he's dead. So yeah. I don't know how they're going to continue it. The wife better Did be you better. not see it? I haven't seen it. No. it I, I saw like the beginning of it and I fucking, I passed out or something. I don't remember you don't like the it? beginning, but it was great. It fucking started. <laughs> what the fuck? I watched it and I passed out, man. Oh, did yeah. it suck? No, it was amazing. <laughs> no, it was great. I just, I was, um, I was just so tired. I was fucking beat. Right, uh, I don't remember when, but I, I feel like I was with my ex when that came out, to be honest. Mm. That was a little while ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet though. Yeah. Um. Anyone else for fucks and sucks? <laughs> Batman. Uh, sucks. sucks he's dude. the biggest suck he's in such the a world. Pussy. <laughs> People are like Batman. Batman sucks. He's a the pussy. Joker sucks. Superman. There sucks. Sucks. Sucks, dude. The Joker, I think, fucks because of the movies. Because of the actor. Exactly. Because of the actor. But he kind of sucks, sucks, right? Sucks. Yeah. The best Batman villain, the best Batman character, in my opinion, is Catwoman. She has the most depth out of anybody because she flips sides a million times. Yeah. I like her. I like that she's, yeah, kind of like. And then ignorant. when she's in. I like Bane, it, dude. Is I'm, it Catwoman or Batwoman? Uh, I think both, right? There's, There's a cat, cat woman and a bat girl. There's two different ones. Like, but like the anti-hero cat woman. Th- that's cat woman. Yeah. That's the also anti-heroes. in Spider Man. That's a that different version. one, I think. That's a different version. Yes. Okay. She was hot. Yes. I love. <laughs> I love Cat Woman and Spider Man. Yeah. She was so cool. Who was that? I don't remember. I don't either. She was with Tommy McGuire. Right? A while ago. Yeah, yeah. That was a while ago. That was great. Some yeah. other bitch. Um. I got bit by a cat. Venom. Fox. Fox. My opinion. Oh, but you know who fucks more than Venom? Who? Carnage. I haven't seen it. But the comics, though. Oh. You've read the Carnage comics, right? Not my. I actually wasn't You're huge. You're not on, into the Carnage well, comics? Well, I wasn't huge on the Venom shit when He's I was young. so dope. But bro. I love them now. Venom's Dude, dope as fuck. <laughs> I, I don't know why I read these comics when I was a kid, but I did. Carnage and, and Venom fought each other and then teamed up and then fought each other and like they were so cool dude yeah they show up in the deadpool comics but i know well carnage does i think but yeah, yeah it's not for long so yeah they were cool like they, they were fucking badass really cool. together but carnage yeah. was kind of like deadpool he had yeah. a very, very similar character. i remember um there was like a rage or something or like uh there a, ber- was, a berserker character right there was some different one know. besides venom and carnage in the comics that i do remember reading that was badass but um it's not carnage green lantern no, I don't remember what it oh, was. Oh, that's a different. That's a different universe. 
Is it is that DC? League. I don't that's know. That's DC. Yeah. yeah. That's Superman. Hmm. But Green Lantern is my favorite DC character. Yeah. Lex Luthor sucks. Sucks. Rich pussy. Big, Half big these pussy. fucking DC characters are he, rich pussies, dude. He lo- Yeah. He looks like fucking um, Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Big sucks. Who else? Um... We did fucks and sex for a while. That was a nice. Yeah, we that did. was a nice wrap we up. We I want to finish on a good one though. Something that's like not often mentioned. Mm. Mystique. I'm going with fucks. I don't remember much. X Men. She can turn into anyone, any character, oh, she fucks, any she fucks, mutant, she fucks. any anything. Yeah, yeah, she big time fucks. Big time she fucks might for fucks. me. She might fucks. That's that's not even a question. The old school one from the movies she and the fucks. new one with Jennifer Lawrence. They both actually fuck for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, really, they're not really other good ones to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. Deadpool fucks for me. Deadpool mega fucks. Mega Deadpool fucks. Really fucking cool. really fucks. Great <laughs> character. Love it. Do you fuck with Cable from the Deadpool movie? Yeah, big time. Yeah, I haven't read his comic, but he's a dope. I don't know who he is. I'm, I'm not really familiar with Cable. I liked his backstory. I liked his character. Yeah, and at the end, he he still fucking hates him. Yeah, hates Deadpool. But they kind of team up. And he's like, Lady Wolverine is one that's they're not I'm probably not going to introduce for a while. But that's a little girl, right? The little girl is more badass, I think, than Lady Wolverine. But it's it was a different version in oh. the comics. But the little girl, I have that comic. She is fucking savage. Oh, she's a different Wolverine. Yeah, well, Lady Wolverine is. They're, they have no relation to Wolverine. She's just like it happened to a woman type of thing. Okay. But she murders people because she couldn't get in the war in the comics, so she. Yeah, she does some fucked up shit. She just kills people. She just murders people. Okay, for the good team, you know. She, but yeah, um, she's a vigilante. The little girl version, that comic, she mm-hmm. kills kids. She's dark, dude. <laughs> she's not good in the comic. I don't know if they're good kids. They might be evil ones, but mm. I didn't expect them to murder them. I mm. thought they would just be like, "Oh no, we'll trap them and they'll we'll change them on our side at some point." But no. she doesn't do that in the movies, though. No, in the movies, well, she's, she's good. Yeah, ish, ish. but in the movie, she does murder people. Oh, she rips people she apart. Rips people to shreds, dude. She like beheads yeah. people, doesn't she? Yes. Yeah. You want to get out of here? Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Brutal View. Episode seventy-seven. All right, what should I go with? Touch my podcast through the fence. The Brutal View episode. Or Kervin Skeets. Kervin Skeets. Because we've know. gone aggressive. We have plenty of aggressive we episode plenty. names. We you have know? plenty. Yeah. Uh, they're both equal footing for me. You can pick. Ah, you're going to leave it up to you, me? Yeah, yeah. You can totally pick. Shit. I'm sure they'll see it. And the, and the people watching this, if you get to, if anyone gets to this point, <laughs> I, I, come on. We know which one you picked. Yeah. We know which one you picked. 603 922 4074. Hit us up. If you have cancer, if good you luck. Eat, if you eat raw meat, if you eat raw meat, if you uh, if you fuck robots, if you if you're the guy that eats raw meat and you just so happen to watch this, yeah, let's let's talk. All the things we've mentioned, if you partake in any way or have an opinion on it, tell us. Tell us. Let us know. Let us know. Let us know. If you're a man, if you're a man that eats other men, tell us. I, I wasn't. I was gonna say that's pretty normal. You don't really have to tell us, but yeah, tell us. Tell us. That's cool. Yeah. Like, hey, I ate a guy's ass once and I liked it. Tell us. I, I'm interested in that story. Yeah, tell yeah. me more. How'd you find out? Dingleberries or no? Yeah. Oh, because wouldn't the balls be on your chin? You. Girls eat guys' ass. Yeah, they do. I don't watch those videos. They don't do anything for me. No. I've yeah. seen them. Uh, yeah. We're definitely rolling credits right now. <laughs> All right, let's <laughs> put that ending on it. <laughs>